I'm here with my dad and he has his library here with so many books. Oh, complete works of Parthasarthi and it is gifted to you by him, signed by you, signed by him. What is it about? This is a book of uh, the writings of Mr. A. Parthasarthi. Swami Bhattasarthi Radha and uh, he, is, uh, he is a philosopher, he is a Vedanta scholar and uh, he writes on various subjects. He has written, in this book contains uh, the analysis of Gita, oh. this contains uh, the various uh, topics of uh, our day-to-day -day relationships, uh, it also talks about the holocaust of attachment, it talks of uh, things like uh, how to remain detached from the worldly uh, materialistic things and how to improve the quality of your life. Wow. So this is uh, basically a, uh, a, a treatise basically. And, uh, this is all his works in one. All his works in one and this is printed in Finland, a very special paper. Uh, and you will not believe this, that this is a book which has 2876 pages. Wow. Now, if any other Indian book would be this thick, this is comprised. So it's ma made by a paper in Finland? Yes, printed wow. in Finland and paper in Finland. Wow. Okay, so from all these books, which is your favorite, like top five books of yours that you would recommend people to study? Or you, you liked it the lot? Okay, so uh, the, and, but the, the partiality would be because I, as the more recent books I would prefer to refer more because uh, I am more fresh with that. So the psychology of money is something which I think anybody who is interested in money, who is interested in investments, should read this book. It is by Morgan Russell. Is uh, it about investing or? It's about the uh, how, how do you treat money and how important money is in life and when you should call uh, uh, that you have enough. Uh, that is very important in life. The word enough is very important to get, get pleasures and joys and satisfaction. Uh, then I have I enjoyed this hit refresh by Satya Nadella. Oh. That's a beautiful book. And uh, also Satya Nadella is the CEO a, of Microsoft. He's the CEO of Microsoft. And uh, though he has passed through various uh, problems in life, uh, his personal problems, he has a special child. But the way he thinks about his organization, the way he, he after uh, Bill Gates, uh, he took over the chairmanship of uh, his company and he really turned it around. The company which was languishing, uh, he has again made it a very profitable uh, venture mm. with his new ideas and thinking and you could uh, get, so Hit Refresh is basically talks about though the company is Microsoft, it needs refresh, it needs to be refreshed. Got it. Uh, and of course the all-time favorite, uh, though now people say that it is a bit uh, outdated, is this Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. Benjamin Graham for all practical purposes, as everybody knows, is a father, of investing. father of investing and even Warren Buffet follows him uh, and that is Benjamin Graham. This is a very old book but today also it sells lots of copies. Why do people like it and why did you like it? Uh, it talks about the fundamentals of investments. Uh, it talks about uh, how it is very important to have a very stable mind to invest rather than brilliant ideas. Mm. And uh, so uh, this is something which is very important in life if you want to be an investor. That Did you, you have follow a very it? Stable mind. Yes, I think I have to a certain extent. I have not been as successful as Benjamin Graham, but in a small way, yes. <laughs> so this is another book and. Uh, uh, yes, zero to one. If you are if you are planning a startup, this book is something which every startup uh, entrepreneur should read. By Peter Thiel. It is by Peter Thiel. He is a very successful investor. He is an investor in one of some of the most successful startups uh, in the world. Uh, and uh, uh, so he, he gives some very book. interesting uh, things there, right? Like he says, competition is not good and all of these things like yeah. some things which are ingrained in us since childhood he is like questioning yeah, he even, them. He even praises monopolies basically yes as you said competition is not good so he is uh, correct. So this is and 
amongst uh, the I also read a lot of sports biographies and uh, I'm at present reading uh, uh, Open by Andre Agassi. Uh, You're a big sports fan. I'm a sports fan so I love to read sports. So this entire sports. section is on biographies. Yes, these are all biographies uh, right from meaning. here to here. It's all books on sports. And so, which one did you like the most? Like, you do you like Open by Agassi? I liked Open by Agassi. I also liked uh, this uh, uh, book of uh, by Usain Bolt. That is, uh, I completed this book in almost two sittings. Uh, oh, really? very, very well written. And uh, it's an autobiography, or it's an autobiography. Faster than lightning. I thought, like Usain Bolt, I did not think that he would be a very good writer. What? Uh, Ultimately, how much you have achieved in life, how you have achieved in life, people write biograph, autobiograph, get it written also. Mm -hmm. I mean, his thoughts are there. Maybe his English may be not as good as what is written in the book personally, but he conveys basically everything about his life. And his life has been very interesting, born in a very ordinary, proper family. And from there, he became, he became a world-renowned, uh, today he is uh, he's a celebrity in his own right. So these are the books that I have been reading and uh, I think this, uh, fortunately this pandemic uh, has uh, made me love my books much more than earlier than I used to and uh, it has been, uh, I am cultivating this as a hobby and looking forward to it as my year, years grow and where I will have more free time to read these books. Any, any favorite one book from here, this section? Uh, this of course, uh, th uh, Walter S. Exxon, as you know, is a very renowned biographer. Oh. Uh, he writes biographies of all well-known people. And this Kissinger's by Kissinger is, a, is a, indeed one of the world's best diplomat ever. And uh, he was a Secretary of State of the U.S. Uh, for many years, especially during these tumultuous years when Richard Nixon was the President of the U.S. And uh, the, he, he has brilliant ideas on a lot of things, how to uh, about the Cold War and uh, relationship with the Russia and the relationship with China. He defined a lot of things and today even he, even though he is now more than 90, he is respected uh, with his ideas. You know? mm -hmm. So that is this book I like and everything by Walter S. Exxon. I think you have read uh, Steve Jobs, written by Walter mm -hmm. S. Exxon. He has written you have mentioned to me that Walter Isaacson is like this biographer who decides on whom he wants to write. Yes, people approach him basically. It's a privilege. Yes, it's a privilege to get your biography written by Walter Isaacson. And uh, I think he says that the next person he is going to write about is Jeff Bezos. That's mm. the person who qualifies now in his uh, views uh, as a person to whom, about whom he can write. Oh. He's of the same caliber as uh, Kendrick Singer and uh, uh, Steve Jobs. He has written on Benjamin Franklin, uh, so these are the people who are the top people about whom he is, uh, Walter Isaacson has written. Uh, he has a very, uh, very, very special style of writing, very simple language, but at the same time very effective and uh, very concise in his thoughts. Nice. So these books are only a fraction of what you have on the Kindle, right? On Kindle you have many more. Kindle, uh, not a fraction, but I think Kindle I have equal number of books. Okay. So those uh, uh, Kindle I read at night. During the day, I pick up the physical books because at night it is not possible to hold a thick book and read. So I read Kindle when I go to sleep and during the day I read these books. Very cool. Thank you for sharing this knowledge and guys, if you have any questions, do write in the comment section. Thank you.